Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Saturday, Saturn day, March 30th, and the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number five vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are rocking with the elk energy and with the elk coming out, the elk, the way the elk came out, it reminds me of not surrendering. Um, with the way the energies is today, meaning the energies in the day adds up to the number five vibration. And the number five deals with sudden and unexpected changes. The day is the 30th. The number three, like the number five, are both restless energies, curious energies, energies that tend to keep themselves distracted and busy to the point that, you know, we could be clumsy, messy, careless also. And then the moon is in Sag that somewhat fits those energies because with the moon in Sag, wherever Sag is in your chart, whatever house it's in, um, we find ourselves always trying to get away from that place. So when with the moon in Sag, we're always trying to get away from our emotions. And we escape our emotions with moon and Sag through educating ourselves on different things or maybe for others traveling and exploring. But when I look at the energies in today, it feels like such a busy body energy. It's like not wanting to face or feel certain things. So finding other things means other ways to kind of get away from certain feelings that need to be addressed. So say since Thursday or even yesterday, something came up and this thing that came up needs your attention, but some way you've put it in the back of your mind and saying it's not that important. And I feel like a day like today, you know, you can find yourself restless and just impulsive and it just feels like, oh, today's just a busy day. But it's a kind of busy day where you start the day with one intention and you leave and the day ends pretty much nothing like you planned. And it's like, it could even go from one extreme to the next where a lot of energy is wasted and nothing gets done the way you plan. So it just feels like a day where you are super busy, but nothing got done. And I feel like the super busyness is like escaping the reality. And with the elk energy and the way it's coming out, the elk to me in the upright position brings me to stability, security and stability. And I look at how the antlers of the elk is being illuminated by the sun. And I think of that as intuitive guidance. I think of that as downloading energy. But with the energies in today, we can find ourselves so busy to the point that we miss the calling. We miss the message because we're just on the go, 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 go. I think of like, say, I just, I'm imagining like someone eating popcorn and it's like having a big old bag and eating, 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 eating super full, but it's like can't stop eating type of vibe because it's almost like I don't want to face what I'm feeling so I'm going to keep some part of my body moving it's like I think of someone always be shaking their leg or doing something it's like trying to escape something so you know it's a form of distraction I'm not saying that's the case where somebody's shaking their leg but that's just um the whole popcorn thing or just busy doing something but avoiding responsibility. Today to me feels like a day where one could easily res avoid responsibilities. And I mean, I feel like that's okay. Like sometimes if sometimes you just have to have like a mental health day where you just allow the day to just go the way the day go. Meaning you get up, you don't feel like doing nothing. 
And if you are able to not do nothing and do it tomorrow, then don't do nothing. Because tomorrow, tomorrow for me feels like a better day for house chores and responsibilities. Or you can find yourself tomorrow having the motivation to clean the house and take care of the family. Where today might be a day where it's like, you know, you don't want to be on a calendar. You don't want to have any obligations. And then Saturn is the ruler of the day. So there's definitely something around time. And then Mars conjunct Saturn um, deals with like, you know, rich, rest in, in Pisces, there's this a restriction with motivation, not having the motivation to be bothered. So today could be one of those days. And it's just like, just chill, get off your back. If you don't feel like doing nothing, if you have the luxury today to not do nothing. I know some people got to go to work, but at work, I can see how this could feel like a lazy day or you could be busy doing a bunch of nothing, but it helps the day to go by. I like how Mars conjunct Saturn is positively aspecting Jupiter conjunct Uranus and Taurus. And what I get from that um, aspect, that sextile would remind me of like a day of chilling at home and watching a really good movie or cooking good food, but then the moon and Sag is squaring Mars conjunct Saturn in Pisces. So it's like, even though a part of you might want to do that, there's another part of you that's like, like sitting still just feels like, it feels like you need to get up and go do something. It, it just feels like you can't sit still. You don't want to sit still. You don't want to, you don't want to be, you don't want to be with yourself, not wanting to be quiet in silence. Like silence feels very loud today. Silence could feel very loud today for a lot of us. But the moon is positively aspecting the North Node conjunct Chiron in Aries. So what I get from that aspect is, you know, feeling like I need to get up and go do something to make myself better in some way. And it's like, it's the feeling where it's like thinking and one day you're about to do everything to, to fix your life forever. And it's just not gonna, it's just not the case. So it's like, take it easy today. Take it easy. So the way how I see today's energies there's this feeling of wanting to have comfort and comfort and relaxation. So to me, today would be a day where it's like with moon and Saj positively aspecting the North Node and Chiron conjunct Mercury and Aries. To me, today would be a good day where it's like you go out in nature and you do something out in nature that keeps you moving. But at the same time, it's nurturing to your soul in some way. Where those of you who, you know, those of us who can't go out and nurture, nurture nature, that's where I, I imagine like, you know, the popcorn, I guess on a day like this, I can see me sitting there eating popcorn and just eating a lot of it. But like, yeah, there's, a, there's a, a restless aspect to this day. So on days like this, for me, when it's important, it's important when if you have something important to get done. Some kind of a checklist is good along with your alarm clock on your phone set to go off before giving you enough time to prepare to go into each thing. And on days like this, I like to incorporate Brian Tracy, I think, teaching um, from the book Eat That Frog, where he teaches you how to be how to not procrastinate, I guess, like by thinking of all the things that you have to do for the day, writing them out. And then of all of them, picking like, say three, that's the most important. That's the most impactful. The ones, so say you're starting a business or you're doing, you're starting a business or you're starting something. And it's like, you list out all the things that need to get done right away in order to get you wherever it is that you need to do. And of all the things, which which four of those things are the most impactful? And then of the four that are the most impactful, pick one that's the most impactful and attack that one first and pretty much attack them in that order until you've done everything you need to do. For me, I always pick, like say when I have a list of things to do in a day, I always go after the one that I don't want to do the most. I always face that one first because once I've, face the one that I don't want to do the most is like, I get this feeling of like, like I could do anything now because now I feel good about myself that I took on the one that I didn't want to be bothered with. And then because I took on the one I didn't want to be bothered with, like it takes this burden off. So now I feel even lighter and now I'm more excited to go deal with the ones that I have to deal with. So I feel like that kind of an approach on a day like this would be beneficial. And I like to take care of my responsibilities first thing 
in the day. Because I like to spend my day similar to the number five energy, the number three energy, or even Aquarian energy. I hate to feel boxed in. I like to be free. So what I do is I start my day and focus on whatever assignments I have for that day, knock those out. And then for the rest of the day, I can be like a kite in the wind where starting my assignments first in the day and knocking them out is like the anchor that keeps my kite from not flowing, flying off and go getting uh, stuck in a ditch or in the ocean somewhere. So it's like on a day like today, you know, you'll see how you can implement things to create more structure in your life. Also, two of the energies in today, today could be a day where sudden and unexpected things happen that seem like something bad, but really an opportunity comes out of it because the number five is that glitch in the matrix that allows new experience and opportunities to come into our world. I feel like both these energies here brings me to some kind of a breaking of a commitment. So today's a day where it's like someone might have plans and they're late. They're chronically late or you notice their lateness or everybody is late to the event today or even someone breaks the contract or breaks the agreement and it's like it happens sudden and expectedly. It's like out of nowhere, you know, a relationship or a thing that appeared to be on good terms, all of a sudden it's just over. All of a sudden this thing just comes to an end and it's like, I didn't see it coming. It's like some kind of sudden and unexpected event, you know, kind of catch you off guard and you can find yourself, you know, feeling like I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to feel it. But definitely when it comes to days like today, um, keeping some kind of a to-do list of the most important things that you have to do and some kind of an alarm to remind you to get to those things, very important on a day like today. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. Hey guys, I want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session. The first one is understanding your internal programming. The second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion. The third is setting goals for success. The fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement. And the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. And when you're aware of your strengths, that makes you unstoppable. And that is why I say self-awareness is a superpower. The fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware. So if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart or an coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions or both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content and also to become a part of the meetup group which is my favorite thing on patreon the link to check out what's happening on patreon is in the description box below please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.